Okay, uh, we're about ready for pack three. Waiting on a couple of players to take their land here. It's the bot now. And here we are. We got a tumble. Scrap Diver Serpent, Skin Render, Hand of the Praetors, Mirsmith, Rustic. Some good cards in here. Um, so I think what I'd like to do is try to wield the Scrap Diver Serpent. Um, pretty much comes down to Rustic and Tumble Mag. Um, the both pretty good. I like Mirsmith. But I don't really have white. <laughs> oh. Um I think I'm gonna take Tumble Magnet. That's a tough call there. I like Tumble Magnet a lot. Sorry, I got distracted for a second. Golem Artisan and Riddlesmith. Um We have a few ways to win the game. I like Riddle Smith, but Golem Artisan is just that good. I'm going to take another one. Okay, next pack. Sorry, I was distracted by the chat. Man, it's a dispense justice. Invisimancer. I'm not sure what happened here to these blue cards I thought we were going to get. And man, like, the lack of solitons is also pretty bad. Those Arbalest. I could take an Invisimancer. I think we take dispense justice. Some more removal. Try to splash it. Hey, there's more white cards. Another heavy arbalest and <laughs> a dark slick drink. I'm not sure what is going on in this draft, to be honest. Uh, these have been awkward passes. Alright, fine. Dark slick drink. We've got a sky eel school. Uh, snap sail glider. Sorry, I've been chatting with um someone who ended up being late and missing out on the draft, so I'm trying to inform him what's going on. Um, I like Sky Eel School, but I don't think we need it. We have one, two, three, four, five big guys. A little lacking at three mana. I grab Chrome Steed. It's a good man, four four. Um let me get past the Snap Cell Glider. I'm good with the Snap Cell Glider. Two two flying's not bad. So yeah, pretty much we are probably gonna be blue, red, white, but mostly blue. Just like a little bit of I'm actually wondering if I should have taken that horizon spell bomb before. And an error. Okay. Alright, here we have a plated sea strider. I'm really not sure. I need I'm gonna have to talk to everyone after this draft. I think some people switched colors and it seems like we opened a lot of bad cards, honestly. Um I'm gonna take the sea strider. I don't know what else to do here. There's really not much else to do. Um, we did wheel that Scrap Diver Serpent. That's good. So we can kill some people with that. I think we have some good win conditions, but I'm not sure if we're going to live long enough to get to them. So.
I'm going to take a look at our packs. And our picks here, we have one, two, don't know if I'm going to play this one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we can hopefully play 14 artifacts. One, two, three, four, maybe five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, I think we'll be okay, actually. Um, another scrap diver. I don't think we need it. Uh, as removal spells go, really all we have is Galvanic Blast. Volition Reigns is really expensive. I'm going to grab the spawns of Quicksilver. It's not a great spell because it, it makes things not untap, which is different than like Narcolepsy from Rise of the Eldrazi, which you would play it and then Narcolepsy would tap their creature during their upkeep. So basically, for Bonds of Quicksilver to do anything, you have to. They get one free tap of their creature, whether it's like a Rustic or something. Well, Rustic's a bad example because I want to keep a tap, but whether it's like a, a Surtark or something that's like going to use a tap ability, Barrage Ogre maybe, once, um, they're going to get that or get a free attack. But then once you bonds it, then it's it's down, so not horrible. Um, I don't think I need another Scrap Diver Serpent, which is why I passed the last one. But there's no artifacts. Well, okay, there is Necrogen Sensor, but that's like pretty much not what we want in this deck. We're trying to be controlling. And I clicked on the wrong card. Oops. Okay. Well, I was going to take the Serpent, but I wasn't going to play it, so not the end of the world. And we wait. Uh, I think our deck's pretty much done. It's going to be interesting to see how this goes. I'm thinking probably 2 and 1. Like, I don't think this is going to win, but you never know. It could end up being better or worse than I think it is. That's something I found interesting, actually, about Scars of Mirrodin as a whole, is that it seems like... It seems like this... Like, it's hard to judge the power level of your deck sometimes. It looks like the bots might have crashed um, this hardware problem. So the bots are idle. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that happen before, in fact. Noah is idle. Oh wait, here we go. They're back. Um, I don't have a pack yet, but looks like they're moving back around the table. That was very strange. I don't think I've ever seen pots be idle before. Usually users can be idle if they walk away for a second or something. And we're waiting. We've also realized apparently that this arrow, these arrows are backwards from just chatting with each other. So my assumptions before based on that were invalid and unfortunate. <laughs> um, but eh, what can you do? Okay, I think I have an idle spell bomb. Definitely don't want another one. I'm actually going to take Necrogen. No, I'm going to take Oriakra. It's more likely we need a creature. Man, three heavy Arbalests and no Solitons is a huge bummer, and that is really unfortunate for us. Um, that could have made this deck really absurd. Um, but literally, we did not see a Soliton. Like, I would have first picked a Soliton if we opened one, but they didn't happen, so... Um, we don't need another one, so I'm going to take Strider Harness, even though I'm not sure we're going to play that either. Uh, Origin Spell Bomb is fine. And Fulgent Distraction, meh. 
lots of math. So that could have gone better. Um, we'll be able to make a deck. I'm not sure how good it'll be. So we can try. Um, but the plan is basically to play a lot of artifacts and stall them out with galvanic blasts and these defensive creatures and perilous mirror. And then get our arbalests and our golem artisans online. Maybe we'll mind slaver them. This could be a fun deck. We'll see what happens. Hmm, somebody actually passed me a vault scoured, but okay. Um, go. We'll go ahead to the next section of the video for deck construction due to YouTube time constraints, etc.